Hey everybody, I'm here with the <laughs> special guest here, Shua. Where are you with taking me? <laughs> Where is this place? We're at my house right now and I have eight sets of IEMs right here. We have four budget ones and we have four expensive ones. He's gonna try a pair at a time and decide or determine which one is the cheap one, which one is the expensive ones. What is cheap? Cheap is under a hundred dollars and expensive is whatever the hell that's above a hundred dollars. That is, oh come on. <laughs> There's no two, three hundred dollar stuff or stuff like that to throw you off the game. I mean, I don't feel safe in this getup. It's okay, no one's gonna hurt you. So the song of choice for the test today is gonna be Coco from the uh, Pokemon movie. To keep it fair, you're only allowed to touch the IEM, not the cable. Because the cable 100% gives it away. Huh, okay, that is interesting. So we're, we're talking under a hundred versus like a few hundred. The cables, of course, are gonna be very different. All right, so the first set of in ears are in. Ready? Yep. Okay, it's good. I like that one. Where would you uh, rough price that? Are you trying to pressure me? No, that's good. Okay. <laughs> no, give me the second one. You don't want to rough guess that one? No, okay. I'm setting, setting myself up for failure. I think this is the cheap one. The bass, it's like it's rounded, not well defined at all. The female vocals, right? Because Beverly's singing here. It's not that being recessed is a bad thing, but this is recessed and undefined also. So it's like really kind of like, uh. <laughs> is that supposed to be like the really expensive one? First one was the one er. How much do you like this in comparison to like the Aria? Do you like it? Oh, it's like way that. better than the Aria. I didn't say it. I'm not hyping, it's this guy. The set that you said was cheap was this Dida Perpetua. <laughs> oh, are you serious? Oh, I mean, uh, it's my honor thoughts. So. Mm, his words, not mine. Mm. That is the tongue too. Okay, I can see why people like it now. 20 bucks. Like, 20 holy bucks, right? Jesus. Okay, yeah. yeah. That is very good. You know what? I hate to say this, but I still prefer the first one. Prefer the one er over yeah. all of them so far. That one that you just let me listen to, it's really cramped sounding. Oh, well, who, who knows if whatever I say will come back to bite me. So. <laughs> I'll just see. It could be uh, could be cheap. I, I will keep it. It could be expensive. It could not even have a price even. Oh, give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the expensive one. Symbol strikes are way crisper on this. Even though the, the sound stage itself is also kind of narrow, but there's like better layering of the instruments. I can like better separate the instruments. You still prefer the one er over no, this? No, no, I prefer this. So the first one you tried was the Tin Hi-Fi T3 Plus. One of the more uh, love yeah. set in oh, the community. <laughs> the I didn't want to say the Okay. Okay, fucking fling <laughs> Well, that is the SA6 Ultra, okay? Yes, that's the SA6 like Ultra. Yeah, it's you see why better. now? It's oh. way better. Do you remember the original SA6? I do. You I do? tried it before I flew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was prepping for this video. Yeah. He knew He knew I was going to put this in here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, that's the only fault. reason you tried the SA6. It's your fault. This. So uh, while I prep the next set, you know, tell the audience you know, so they get to know you more. What's your current favorite sets so they kind of gauge where uh, your preference lies? I think those in the server would already know what my favorite sets are. GK10. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I like the Diva Performer 5 by Afu is really good. So uh, those are pretty different sets. Yeah, you need to have like some contrasting sound every now and then. Don't have like a collection of the same sound signature, it's kind of boring. Okay, tonality is good. Okay. Like there's really nothing much to fault about it, but there are a lot of things that leaves to be desired. I don't get a lot of lower treble energy. I don't get the very ending, like when singers like, they sing really powerful verses and then like you can hear like the extension for their vocals. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting a lot of it. I think the bass just sounds kind of like B grade. It's there, but at the same time, it doesn't like make you, oh, okay, that's wonderful. I'm gonna predict that is the cheap one. Where would you price this? Since you already predicted it's gonna it's a cheap one, I mean, like based on sound quality here. Okay, based on sound quality, I think it's maybe like, okay, the Aria is $80. It sounds better than the Aria, but I'm still gonna put it at like 80 bucks. I think 80 bucks is, 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 is good for the price for this thing. All right. Verdict. I do still think this is the more expensive set. This one has like much better bass response. Giveaway for me was like that clash of the cymbals when the singer is going from like the first verse to the second verse. That there is like real extension that I could hear every part of the cymbal. And there's like just more micro detail generally throughout the entire song as compared mm. to the first one. That's my verdict. I think this is more expensive. You are correct. What you tried, the more expensive one was the Critical Dawn. What oh do you think of god, it? Oh my god, I was like, fuck, I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you got it, you got it right. You guessed 
like bang on. This is the Truth Ears Hexa, and you guessed the price at eighty dollars, which was like spot. I was so glad I didn't say that was the oh, more expensive no. set. I have no idea. <laughs> She's there. I have no idea. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. What's hard about it? What's what? Why is it tough? It's tough because the base is good, but it's not like amazing. The staging is accurate. The imaging is accurate. There is some travel extension. Not as good as the clinical dawn. Micro details are not as good as that one as well. But at the same time, I can't say that this is exactly cheap sounding it's quite tonally balanced the timbre is super natural i don't know that's the thing that's the thing that's <laughs> me it doesn't oh. sound cheap but at the same time it doesn't sound so, like incredibly expensive where would you price this personally <laughs> just ballparking oh my god i have no idea i i could say anywhere between like maybe 250 to 400 i wouldn't say it's wow i wouldn't Put it higher though. It doesn't do anything wrong, but it doesn't do anything amazing either, apart from like the timbre. I don't okay. know, it sounds like a 1DD to me, but I could be very wrong about it. Well, just wait here while I grab the uh, other sets. Here's the mic. Feel free to uh, say whatever you want to say. While what I... the hell? <laughs> what is this <laughs> intermission? That is the cheap set, right? I'm gonna die. His reaction says it all. No idea what IEM that is. Timmy, I'm dying to know what IEM that was. I have a really bad feeling it's the cheap one. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, but it could be a good thing if that was indeed the budget one and you gave me like a really horrible sounding expensive IEM. Yeah, it could be, you yeah, know, it, uh, anything yeah. could happen, you know. I wouldn't uh, mess with you or anything. I feel like I'm being like held hostage in like a really cheap hentai film. Like they have like... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? So this is what a victim feels like <laughs> while being held hostage. <laughs> What? what are you doing to me, Timmy? <laughs> That's not even relatable. <laughs> what kind of hentai have you been watching? <laughs> Are these the fucking same thing? <laughs> it sounds exactly the same as the one you just gave me. Is it? I think so. You think so? Yeah. God damn it. Yeah, it's the same one. Oh, for fuck. <laughs> Well, well, hey, 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 you can oh, take your blindfold off now. Oh, it is the. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the thing is, though, that's validation that your ears are like really good. Oh, shit. Because, uh, you know, if you were to say they're different sets, see, see. His ears are good. Oh, so it is the Olina. It is the Olina SE. $100, but it's a really good $100 set. You put it at $250 to $400. Yeah, I think it, it can beat some of the $250 to $400 out there. Big praise. Oh, HBB is going to be really happy to see this. Oh. Hey, Chris. Shout out to uh, Chris <laughs> Channel HBB. I'm surprised that Better it's 100 this. Yeah, it doesn't sound like 100 but Apparently, it's 400 Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I have to be nice. The, no. <laughs> no. You're, you're backtracking now. No, no, no. You just made Chris's it's day. He's gonna have he's, he's gonna have the best 2023 now because of no, dude, it's 250. Did we give him the lower end. No. <laughs> but yeah. So out of all the IEMs you tried today, which one would you say is like your your let's your top three? I think the S A Six Ultra, the mm -hmm. one that you gave me was good. The mm -hmm. Dawn was good. Mm -hmm. Probably the Olina SE. Olina SE in third place. Yeah. Wow. Well, that was fun. How was your experience? Do you feel uh, enlightened and uh, more confident in your listening abilities? No. Thank you for uh, being brave enough to be in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'd like to thank my Patreon subscriber now. We have Kai, we have Chadwick, Suni Roll, Mr. Norm, and also Mr. Mason! And why is Mr. Shua not a patron? <laughs> <laughs>